Hello Collective, Northern Lightseer here. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well today. Uh, so I want to focus on the collective, on you guys, on me. I'm part of the collective, okay? I want to see, ooh, I can see the moon through my window. I want to see how, what spirit wants to say to us as the collective. I don't care about what anybody else out there is doing, thinking, feeling. I don't give a shit right now. I feel like a message needs to be out here for the collective. 4-4 four, four, from our angels. From the divine. I want to see what kind of messages spirit wants to bring down for you guys. Um, this is a time of change. A time of healing. A time to... Look at ourselves and decide what our next move is going to be. we got a new year coming up. Everyone's going to be making their New Year's resolutions. Um, I don't particularly uh, do that, but at the same time, I kind of do because I want the next year, the upcoming year, to be better than the last always. One, two, three. Thank you, Spirit. And so I want to focus on... What we can do to better ourselves, to empower ourselves, to lift us up. And that's my whole purpose on this channel. And so if you have considered uh, per, uh, booking a personal reading with me, 144, thank you. That's what, those are my favorite readings to do for you guys. And it it would be very beneficial. And I know that it's a little steep on the price but you know I'm bring down some very good messages for my in my personals I can I can get into your energy and bring down specific messages from the divine for you and so if you want to find out what your spirit guides have to say what the divine wants you to know then send me an email and we will get you set up it, it's worth every dollar, I promise. Okay. It, the, the prices aren't just me, two, three, four, aren't just me, you know, being money hungry. No, no, no. Okay. I just know my worth. And so if you've been thinking about booking a personal reading with me, go ahead and feel free to do so. For those of you that have, I very much appreciate you. Um, and also, too, to those of you that donate, that use the, that send me super chats and super stickers and super thanks, all of it is so greatly appreciated. Those of you that send to my PayPal and my Cash App, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of your views, likes, comments, and shares. That all of that is going to, it, it helps. It gets, it gets these messages out. It spreads them out farther. I just saw three, two, one. It's the final countdown. Okay. We're counting down to the next year. Three, three, three. Been seeing threes a lot. And so I'm mute. I'm so excited today because I, I got a new deck in on my porch yesterday. It's called Artificial Intelligence. It's made by the same company that created this Delusions Tarot. And so, and they're different sizes. So I'm going to be able to use both. This one will be the main. This one will be the clarifying deck. And I'm just so excited. This is a beautiful deck. Um, and also, so I, I, this is, this is a very, this is a deck where, you know, my intuition kicks in here. There's, there's imagery here that's gorgeous, but it doesn't, you know, it, it, it depends on my intuition and what I feel and what I feel like is coming through from the divine to interpret it. Um, it came with this beautiful piece of rose quartz. Um, and I feel like rose quartz is very important right now. Heart chakra activation. We, it, Damie the Divine Seer, 444. Okay, she was wearing rose quartz as well, and so I made sure to let her know in her chat that this came in with my deck. And so rose quartz, and nothing happens, nothing is a coincidence, four, five, six, nothing is a coincidence. 
rose quartz is all about love spreading the love and i thank you spirit the messages need to get out there and they will find who they're meant to find I appreciate each and every single one of you for being here. Thank you so much. This channel would be nothing without you. So, as you can see here in the corner of my table, I have this White Raven card, the Anomaly card. And that's you. This is the collective. This is me, this is you, this is the collective. We stand out in a crowd. We are the ones that are different. We are the ones that people, you know, people that all the ones that want to blend in and be the same as everyone else. And they don't want to stand out there because people that stand out are weird, right? The, I've been called weird, crazy, loony, all of the above. And you know what? I know who and what I am and I am proud of it. I am not ashamed of who I am or the path that I've walked because it has taught me everything I know. And I'm learning. I'm continuing to learn because now I'm walking in the light of the divine. And I still have so much to learn. And my videos here on this channel, I'm passing along what I'm learning right straight to you. So here we are, this white raven. We're stand out. We're different. And all these others, okay, <clears throat> we catch flack. We do because we're different. And you know what? That's okay because we stand tall and we stand, we stand proud knowing that we're making a difference in the world. This white raven is surrounded by fluffed out dandelions. What do we do with the dandelions? What's the, what do we do? Right. We blow on them and make a wish. I feel like, I feel like you have made many, many wishes. Many, many wishes. But the biggest one of all is to be seen, to be understood. To be understood, to be respected. It looks like this raven is facing that way, okay? And all these other ones, okay, their bodies are faced one way, but their head is looking the other way. You have your whole body turned towards the path that you're on, and you got your eye on the prize, okay? These ones here, their bodies are faced one way, but they're looking back another way towards what you see. You're headed in that direction full steam ahead. All these other ones here, the ones that are watching you or the ones that are making fun of you for being different or the, or the ones that are calling you crazy, okay, they're, they're, they're walking in another direction, but they got their head turned trying to see what you see. You make a difference in the world. You have an impact collective. Don't stop. Get it, get it. <laughs> Don't stop. Get it, get it. Okay, as I, okay, so I wanted to use, I was getting my decks ready here, and so I wanted to use this Butterfly Wings Oracle, and as I was getting it out of the bag, ooh, next level, bottom of the deck, and I was getting it out of the bag, these two cards flipped over, because it kind of, it kind of, it's hard for me to get them all out at once, and, it, and I just kind of dumped it out, and these two were the ones that flipped. The first one was is the portal of light new doors are opening collective new doors are opening for us because we're we're bold enough to stand out and be proud of it we're proud of our gifts we're proud to have a divine channel with spirit with the divine we're proud to have our angels on our shoulders we're proud to be able to make an impact on people and help people there are so many people out there that just need a little guidance. You are that light. You are, you are this light here. And look at them flock to you. They're, all these butterflies, they're coming right to you. You're the light right there. 
You're creating changes. A breakthrough is happening. Allow yourself to expand. Okay, 10, 10. All the endings that we've been through, all of the endings that we have, every time we've had to come through with our Ace of Swords and make the cuts, okay, especially to the people that said that talked about how crazy we are and you know we're gonna fail this that and the other okay i've had my fair share of all of that they thought i would fail look at me now that's what we can say because we got opportunities and coming our way new doors are opening and people oh thank you spirit you can only help the people that want to, to help themselves. The rest we have to leave behind. The ones that actually want to change. And look, these butterflies are all different colors. People of all different kinds of races, ethnicities, countries, 1111, genders, orientations, you, what, what have you. It's the people that want to change. It's the people that want to help themselves that are going to flock to your light. Because you cause you create a ripple effect. Every single act of kindness that you put out there into the world creates a ripple. And you don't know who that ripple is going to touch. All you know is it is your job, 1144, to create the ripple. You have no clue. With that drop in the bucket, that ripple that it creates, how who it's going to touch, who it's going to affect, what changes it's going to bring. You're here to inspire and uplift. Even a small act can make a difference. You can impact your own surroundings and do not est underestimate the small things. Okay? Also, too... Remember I said, I just saw 1221, people, th people thought, made fun of me and said that I would fail. Okay. They underestimated me. They underestimated my power. 1234. They underestimated the power of one small drop in a large ocean. <clears throat> and then I have this new level, next level at the bottom of the deck. You're reaching new heights. You will rise above it all. You're on the right tracks that lead to success. You're on the right path. If you're here and you want to help yourself and you're, you are ready, you've risen to the challenge of change and to evolve. Next level up, baby. The ones that are here, they understand and the, and they know. 1331. Seeing a lot of numbers, guys. They, you understand that one small act of kindness can change someone's entire day. You're different. You stand out. And you know it. Make sure that you use it wisely and that you use your gift properly. Words and acts can be done for good or for bad. If you're in it for the right reasons, that is when these new doors are going to open. For you, new doors of opportunity. The breakthroughs, the enlightenments. I saw the epiphany card here. Giving people a new perspective, a new idea to think about and ponder, right? You stand out in the crowd. Let's go ahead and grab a couple more of these. <clears throat> and then we'll dive into these beautiful tarot decks. Also, too, look how well this the backs of this card match that portal of light. 
Look at that color. Match. Just damn. What card is that? The Emperor. Just had to see. <laughs> I just had to see it. That's you. In your throne of power, you have claimed your seat. Here you are. And you know, like I said, one small, you know that you're one small drop in a large ocean. Here you are. Itty bitty tiny with your throne. Serving the divine. We're going to go ahead and keep the emperor out. Reclaiming your power. Taking your power back. Okay. Knowing your worth. Knowing your truth. We got fantasy right here. An escape from reality. Fantasies are mirroring your desires. Don't just wish your life away. Thank you, spirit. I said about all these wishes here. Okay, how many wishes have you made? How many in your lifetime have you made? How many have come true? The reason why is because not very many have come true is because you have to be an active part of your manifestation. We can't just <clears throat> put it out into the universe and then not do our part. We have to we have to play our part. We have to do our role. We have to do the work. People and like I said, people could think, okay, we're off in fantasy land over here. Uh nothing none of this is real. Okay. What they don't understand is that we are making an impact. You're an empath. You're a giver. You lead from a place of love. I've We've been called crazy for a reason. And it's not because we're crazy. It's because people fear what they don't understand. You know that you are beautiful inside and out. And when you speak your truth, when you shine, when you understand your glow, yeah, because you're different. Look at this shit. Your inner beauty shines through. People can see your glow. You stand out in the crowd. Spirit just be driving it on home. Damn. We're going to go ahead and keep that. We're going to keep beauty out. Experience the beauty of the world. See the beauty in yourself and treat yourself with love and respect. Because you know how to love on some you, you can pass that on to others. Create a ripple. We're just messengers from the divine. And we don't know who needs to or will be guided to see our messages but we know that whoever needs it will. Going through an ascension right now. I feel like a lot of us are. A lot of us are leveling up. This is a this is a ascension to the next level. You could be activating new gifts beyond what you currently have. You're transforming old patterns, rewriting the chemistry of your body. And you're emerging out of suffering. You are flying above. You're going through a change. Looks like there's a little itty bitty person right here on the top of this rock formation. Looking towards the sun. You're going through, okay, you could be experiencing it, the symptoms of an ascension, which I'm telling you right now, okay, it's not comfortable and or fun, but it's necessary. Transformations are painful and they're not easy. 
I feel like a lot of the collective is ascending. Because we're trying to bring on a new life. Anything to shuffle out? Reclaiming your throne. We have pleasure right there. Trust what gives you pleasure. Unlock the passion within you. And there is wisdom within your body. Okay. You, your body is your temple. Take care of it. There, the epiphany card is right there at the bottom of the deck. Holy shit. This one. No, it was this one that tried to jump out. But this one here. Okay. It takes a long time. That's, that skull looks like a snail. Sometimes it takes us a while to put endings where endings need to happen. This chapter has closed. New things will come your way and closure happens when you let go. That's right. That's right. Perhaps things that you used to find pleasure in. It's time, it's time to let it go. Time to, time to release it so that we can heal. And something is going to, it's like a light bulb clicks on. I'm telling you, we got, we got, and we've got a many ascensions going on here. I think, I feel like the collective is doing some massive leveling up. You're about, and it's tough right now. They say it gets the heart, okay, you get tested the most right before you level up. And let me tell you, I, I'm right here with you guys. And I understand that completely. It is a tough time right now. It's a tough time right now. We could all use a little extra, you know? Okay. Get yourself some rose quartz. So we have the emperor here. Claiming your throne of power. Here's your little throne, okay? And then you got the divine right behind you, backing you up. Bringing you downloads. There's that light right there. The portal of light is through the divine. And I got the world card right here. Okay. I've played with this deck a couple times. Just shuffling it, shuffling it, throwing some cards out, trying to get the energy in. Um, and I, and every time I shuffle this deck, I end up with a world card at the bottom of the deck. And here it is. That's crazy. I'm not, I'm not shitting you. Since I've got this deck, this deck is telling me I'll shuffle it and I'll shuffle it and I'll shuffle it and I'll cut it. And the world shows up every single time at the bottom. And here it is right now again. I know I didn't shuffle it, but I didn't know it was there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep it out. Yeah, we got strength behind there. Endings. Cycles closing. Old Ending old cycles so new ones can begin. This looks like a vortex, like a portal. Like it looks like um, a uh, what do they call those in the a vortex in the water? Look at this beautiful art. There's a castle right there. There's the cosmos that looks like the moon. And then there's this. This dark chasm. It looks like there's a there's people right there. Looks like they're admiring the view. Old cycles ending, so new cycles can begin. Oh, let me turn my deck around the right way. There we go. I just saw the five of pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> The pentacles could be a little on the lower side right now. Page of Swords. You're gathering information. I think that's collecting and gathering and studying information that's coming in from the divine. Yeah. 
You, I just heard, you are the, wow. You are the ruler of your world. Your world is what you make it. All right, collected. Let's see what the divine has to say. Angels, ancestors, and divine of the highest white light. What does the collective need to see? My lights went off. You know these lights. I turn them on and they go right off. And then I'll turn them on again and they'll stay on all night. It's weird. Yeah, four of pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Okay. Like I said, could be spirit is, you know, wanting you to hang on to your pentacles. Even because it's the holidays, things could be feeling a little tight. Things are feeling a little skinny. Okay. I just heard, get more bang for your buck. Okay. This is about making sure that you're wise with your money, okay? Four of Pentacles, that's, okay, that can be a miser card holding back, but I feel like it's for your own good at this point in time. Only spend your money on what you know that you know to be true. What you know that can help you in your situation. This is saying, don't just be out there buying stupid, pointless gifts for people that, you know, for the holidays. Make it meaningful. Make it meaningful. It doesn't have to be expensive as long as it's, as long as the thought is what counts, right? Okay. Okay. What else? I've got a king of cups. Leading from a place of from the heart. From the heart space. I feel like this is a, a heart chakra activation. The rose quartz. Rose quartz is all about love. The King of Cups, he has a hard time expressing his emotions or what he feels like. And so, uh, male or female, okay, there's no gender here. I feel like you have a, you're have you ascending from the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. And because you have overgiven before, you're now kind of keeping some of your thing, you know, some of your feelings to yourself, which is okay. Okay, with this Four of Pentacles, could be holding back. On what you're on what you feel like and I think the divine is saying it's time to let go it's time to release got the eight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck okay we got the six of Pentacles balance will be restored in the pentacle department. I feel like where there was an imbalance, balance is going to be restored. Just keep, we saw that eight of pentacles, keep working. Keep working on it. You're going to go from the four of pentacles to the eight of pentacles, from the, from the four to the six to the eight. Okay, you're not even going to, you're not even going to mess around with the five and the seven of pentacles. You're just going to be making jumps from the four to the six to the eight. Even numbers. Ooh. I just heard even keeled. Okay. And this six of pentacles, it's not side to side like on scales. It's stacked. Stacking pentacles. Yeah, look, there's the nine of pentacles right here. You could be with this emperor right here and the nine of pentacles. You could be thinking about starting your own business, making your own pentacles, starting up a side hustle, working uh, working from home full time, being your own boss, honoring your craft. This world right here, okay, you could be ending some kind of work job cycle, endless loop that you feel like you're stuck in. Many of you are, but I feel like 
I feel like you are working on your own pentacles. You're reclaiming your power. You want to uh, you want to be your own boss. And if you buckle down and you and you, and you do you follow the light and you yeah, new doors of opportunity will open for you. It's a big change. And you know, you stand you, you could be, you know, you could hear from people that like I said in the beginning, oh, that's not a good idea. Oh, that's never going to make it. If you put your heart and your soul into it with the King of Cups, you put your heart into it, it'll be just fine. This is a successful, can stand on their own two feet, business person. Usually single. Okay. What else? Four of Wands. Yeah. There's your home. There's your structure. There's your stability. Your foundations. It landed right here on the Six of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. All you're concerned about is keeping a roof over your head food in your belly, and taking care of your family. <clears throat> okay. I get happiness here. There's the high priestess. Follow your gut. Follow your intuition. You already know what you need to do because you have insight and there you are. You're you're the you're the bright light, and these butterflies flock to you. You are the portal of light. You are a straight. You're a direct connection. You have a direct channel to the divine. You're the bringer of messages. Also, too, the high priestess. Okay, when she's working on something, she moves in silence. She's quiet. But she knows the truth. I got the Eight of Cups. This is about leaving behind things that no longer serve us, things that make us unhappy. Creating those endings. Closing those cycles out. Reclaiming our power. Walking away from what empties our cup. It's falling under the King of Cups. I said, where you overgave, you left that behind. You put a lid on it. And... You're only put you're only pouring your cup where you know it's going to be accepted, reciprocated, loved. We can only help those that want help. We can only help those that want change. Got a page of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Jamie the Divine Seer is calling me right now. Girl, I'm going to decline your call. Just because I'm recording right now, I'll call you back. There she goes. Okay, she hung up. All right. <laughs> I'll get, I'm going to call her right after this video. So we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. You're walking away from anything that is... That, that is getting in the way of your dreams here, okay? You're not, it, like I said, you've overgiven too much in the past and now you've ascended from a queen of cups into a king of cups, okay? You're reserving your energy. You're saving your love for those that deserve it, that want it. You're not out here trying to save everybody. You know that people, not everybody can be saved. Because they have to want it. We're done. 
we've created endings and we've come through and we're ready to share our light with those that are are willing to accept that that something needs to change and if people want to stay stuck and spin their own wheels that's on them okay you've got a bright new future here and look that looks like a skull to me Creating endings, so new ending, so new beginnings can occur, and it usually takes the what we have been through that inspires us to do better. Nope, oh, that's coming in right under the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Five of Cups, things that felt left us feeling depleted. Look at this. These cups here are turned over upside down. Like I said, thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. You had to put a lid on it and reserve your time and your energy for the people that want to be helped, that want to be guided, okay? The ones that are open, Queen of Cups. I feel like we were in King, Queen of Cups in reverse. You, But you reclaimed your power. And you know that you are going to make a change by what... Okay, the Ace of Wands is a fiery new beginning. And you're passionate about it. So you had to put a lid on some of, your, on some of the people around you. Endings. That's, there's a reason why this world kept showing up on the bottom of my deck. The, the emperor has a hold of that ace of wands. We have, okay, five of cups. We're done feeling sad. And, you know, these are the people that want to keep wallowing in their self-pity. They don't, okay, the people that will come along just to drain you. You could tell them what it, you know, their, what you think would be good for them and, and try to uplift them and inspire them until you're blue in the face. But the people that don't want any, want to change, okay, you're just wasting your time and wasting your energy. King of Cups, you put a lid on it. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Wands came out in reverse. Dropping the weight. You release the burden. You shoved it off of your back. It's not your problem. We have to let go of the ones that don't want to be helped. But, okay, because they see your light, they just want to suck the light out of you. And they will drain you dry. Okay, that's where we have to create endings. Save your energy for the ones that you know want to change. You got the Eight of Wands. Yeah, messages from the Divine. I've got the Knight of Wands. That is taking action. Okay. Moving towards your goals, your dreams. <sighs> Taking action. He's, he's got an idea. He's got a vision. But he can be a little reckless. So make sure that you slow down, you take your time, and you think about it. The night... Okay, you, you, the knight wears a full suit of armor. You're protected. You're protected through all of it. Yeah, I've got the three of pentacles. Okay, putting it in the effort. Got the page of swords here. Collecting information. Learning something new. Okay. These, this Knight of Wands, this could be the people that were obstinate, that don't want to change, okay? They want to keep their armor on, and they just, hey, they, they, they would rather stay in a knight than ascend to a king 
or an emperor. We have to let those people go. Yeah, hermit. The hermit fell out right on top of the ace of wands, okay? I feel like, exactly, you went inside, you're keeping your ideas to yourself. Move in silence. You've been on a path, and I feel like with this hermit, okay, you did. You went into isolation. You put a lid on it from trying to help people that don't want to be helped. You can't save them all. You cannot This hermit card. He's got his lantern. Looks like on his back. It looks like there's a world inside of there. Okay. He knows where he's going because he knows where he's been. Wow. What's at the bottom? The fool. Brand new beginning. A fresh start. Taking that leap. Trusting in the divine. Surrendering. That's the hardest part. Is trusting in the divine and just taking the leap. Knowing that the divine will catch you. What's on top? The ten of pentacles. I can't make this shit up, you guys. Taking the leap, trusting the divine in this new beginning, in this ascension process, in creating these endings that need to happen, putting a lid on people that don't want to be helped. All they're going to do is drain you of your light and your energy. Put a lid on it and save your energy for those that actually want to change, that want to ascend, that want to lift their, the, raise their vibration. Ten of Pentacles. You're going to go from the four to the six to the nine to the ten. You keep putting in your effort. Cut the deck. The star. Look at that. Again, with the wishes. Okay? All those pointless wishes that you made that never came true, it's because you didn't believe in yourself. Now, you do. And you are the brightest star in the sky. And you make a fucking difference. And you change people. Okay, people want to hear what you have to say. You're inspiring people. You're helping people heal. You're helping people cleanse. Or this is your calling. Okay. You're being guided by the divine. Look, there's sailboats right there. Your ships are coming in. I'm seeing falling stars here. Make a wish, okay? There's a lot about your wishes and your dreams coming true here, Collective. You just have to meet the divine halfway and put in the work. That's all. 43, 43. Those are sevens. Sevens are the number from heaven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Seven stars here. Crazy. Okay. Shoo. Your ships are coming in. Do in the, put in the work. Give your energy to only those that deserve it. The, not deserve, but the old, ones that want to make a difference. Okay. You, have, you can only reserve your energy for those that want to change otherwise you're just you're gonna wear yourself out don't burn yourself out you got the three of cups okay making new friends meeting your soul family four 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 celebrations good times are to come Four Swords, healing. Taking that time to heal. Let's get some of this Delusions Tarot out. 
just because they go so beautifully together. It's made by the same company. This one is Artificial Intelligence, and then this one is called the Delusions Tarot. You've seen me use it before, and it's created by Sirius Tarot. They have an Etsy shop. Go check them out. Yeah, cut the deck right to the fool. There's that beginning. There's that new beginning, that chance to take the leap. Have trust, surrender. You are never alone. And trust and believe that there's people out there that need to know what you know. Speak your truth. Reclaim your power because you're going to have an impact on the world. You make a bigger impact than you realize. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Taking back your power. Focusing on your own wish fulfillment. Not worrying about other people's wishes and dreams coming true. Okay, We need to focus on our own. There's the magician. Powerful manifester. You are manifesting your own wish fulfillment. Again, with the wishes. Okay. This is all about... You're fulfilling your own dreams and wishes. Okay, let's get some clarity. I want to talk about this Ace of Wands. What's in the Ace of Wands? Justice. Boom. Again, balance will be restored. Whatever this is that you're working on, whatever this fiery new beginning is, this fresh start, it's going to light a fire under your ass. It's going to bring you a lot of justice and balance into your life. This is your justice for helping people. For, for It's going to balance out everything that you've done for people in your lifetime. Whatever this is. It's your calling. And if you answer the call and shed the weight, ten of wands reversed, of what doesn't serve you, endings, okay, that you've been stuck in for a long time with that snail, a light bulb is going to come on. Okay, this ace of wands is the same as this epiphany card. Like, ding, all of a sudden, something's going to come to your come to your attention. And you're going to know. And as long as... If you answer the call, boom, Ten of Pentacles, baby. Okay. Yeah, look, I got the Queen of Pentacles right here. Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to put that, I'm guided to put that right on top of the Four of Pentacles. You spend your money wisely and you hold back and you don't just be out here just waiting, throwing pentacles away. Be smart with your money. That's what I'm getting from this. Be smart with your money. I got the nine of wands with the devil. Yeah. Build, putting a firewall up against anything that's going to stop you or get in your way. This is your haters. These are the ones that said you would fail. These are the ones that are trying to keep you bound, keep you stuck in the same place that you have always been. These are the people that don't want to change. These are the ones that you were overpouring your energy and love and light to. These are the ones that were draining you. Nine of Wands. You've got a firewall up. You've built a wall up around yourself. Protect your energy. Okay. I want to know about... Let's see... Tell me about these pinnacles over here. What does the collective need to know? Yeah, we got the Empress. Divine Feminine Energy. Okay, the, the Chosen Ones. We got the Emperor and the Empress out here. So whether you're masculine or feminine, either way. Okay, Earth Angels get put through the most. We are the ones that are sent from the divine. We are the chosen ones. And when you step into your power and you recognize what you were sent here to do and you hear your calling and you answer that call, okay, that is when the nine and ten of pentacles comes through. Whether you're masculine or feminine, okay, we have both. We have both. You're, you're loving, you're tender, 
you, you're, you're a mother or you're, you're mother-like. You could be a single parent, okay, you're taking care of your babies. You're loving, nurturing, and you also know how to get shit done with the emperor, okay? Earth angels get put through the most. Oh, we had something else flip over. Yeah, the seven of swords. Okay, I'm taking this as a plan, a strategy. Okay, you're very strategic in how you're trying to obtain this nine and ten of pentacles here. You've got a plan. And you've got an ace of wands that's going to balance out the scales. Where you overgave, you will be given back. Ooh, I just heard tenfold. Wow. Wow. Okay. I want to know more. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got an emperor in reverse right here. It fell right here on the eight of cups and the ten of wands in reverse. I can't make this shit up. Spirit just be on point. These are people that were in this devil energy that you've got a wall up around you from because these are your narcissists. These are the ones that take, 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 take and never give anything back. These are the assholes. These are the ones that told you that you would, you would fail. These are the ones that want to talk shit about your gift. These are the ones that think they're better than you. Let me tell you, you eight of cups and ten of wands in reverse this shit and you're on your own path. The five of cups, the ones that tried to drain you. The ones where, okay, no, uh no. No. You, okay, ended it. It's over. We ain't doing this no more. No. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, you went on a journey. Long one, too. I feel like you went off into hermit mode, and you went on a journey, baby. And it was towards your Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles... Slowest moving night in the deck, but it always makes it to the finish line. You will be successful. If you've been called and you answer your call, boom, you will be successful. You will trust and believe. I've got the I've got the nine and the ten of pentacles out here. Queen of Wands, have confidence in yourself. Be confident. That is something that's okay. These are, that's something that this emperor, these emperors in reverse, these devils, you had to walk away from. Okay, your confidence is what they were trying to stomp out. But let me tell you something. Spirit's got your back. Spirit has got your back. You're confident, you're beautiful, you're sexy, handsome, whatever you are, okay? You will make a difference. Because your words hold power and you will create a ripple effect. And you will touch all that hear you. High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess. Yeah, High Priestess is the Queen of Cups. Very psychic, very intuitive, very giving. <clears throat> right. You Okay, you had to follow your gut. 5335, uh, eights, abundance, infinite abundance. Damn. The Queen of Cups, okay, when she's in the reverse, she overgives. And that's exactly why this King of Cups had to come out because you had to ascend and put a lid on that shit and quit overgiving to the people. Okay, you can't save them all. I keep hearing it. You can't save them all. Most of them just wanted your light. So you followed your gut and you followed your intuition. You listened to your calling and you ascended. The Queen of Cups, this is the most love you can get out of the entire deck right here. Boom. You could have Queen, you could have, uh, we have all the signs out here. All, everybody's here. Everybody's here. There's that fool again. Look at this shit. The fool with the sun. Taking a leap of faith towards your happiness, towards your sunshine. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. We all want to live in the sunshine. You just have to take the leap. Trust in spirit. This figure here, okay, she's facing backwards. She looks like she's doing a, a, a trust fall. Knowing that the divine will catch, catch him or her. She knows the divine. The emperor and the empresses out there, they know that they can trust in the divine and they can take that trust fall. 
they've been told their whole life that they're different, that we stand out, that we're weird, that we're crazy. Okay? No. No. We're just chosen. We're different than the rest, and we were meant to. We were meant to stand out. And we were meant to reclaim our power and to see our full potential, to see our beauty, our inner beauty. And this is a hell of a journey to ascend to an emperor empress. It's also about finding the balance between your masculine and your feminine energy. Whew! I be feeling this. I'm feeling it. Yeah, five of wands, ten of swords. Look at this. They mad, let them stay mad. Let them stay mad. Haters be hating. Who gives a shit? Five, 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 five. Things are changing. Okay. And I feel like you have a lot to do with the changes that are occurring here. Yes. We have one flipped over. What is it? The two of wands. Choose a path. Choosing a path. Are you going to answer your call? Because there's a gift. Spirit wants to, the divine wants to bring you a gift. If you answer the call, you will be bestowed a giant ace. Which with this nine of pentacles here, that's going to lead to the ten. Nine plus one equals ten. Answer the call. If you are being called by the divine, you'll know. And you'll be, and you'll be able to let go and take that trust fall. Knowing. That the divine is going to catch you. You do your part here with the, to get to the nine of pentacles. And you will be gifted that tenth pentacle that's going to bring it all together from the divine. Boom. Yeah. We've got the seven of wands with the lovers here. Yeah. I feel like blocking out love at this point in time. Uh-uh. Okay, when you're sent on a journey and you're he, to, and you're answering a call from the divine, you have a tendency to put love on the back burner. Okay, I know that I am. I know that coming from a me place, okay, I'm not laying down with nobody that don't love me. Mm -mm. Nope. It, why? Because I'm investing in myself. Seven of Pentacles. I'm not invested in love. I've got a. I've got. A, I'm. I've got love blocked off. Because I'm busy answering my call. Let them stay mad. Let them stay mad. They, okay. Haters be hating. You're about to get some news with this page of wands. I'm telling you. Something. Okay. That's the call. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to think something new, a new piece of information is going to come through a new idea. Thank you, spirit. That is your call. And it's going to bring you a lot of pleasure. Listen to your body. Okay. We, we go through physical ascension symptoms when we, when we ascend and it's right here next to it. Pay attention to the, the bot, the signals that your body is giving you. Damn. Wow. Phew. Spirit came through in this reading. Cut the deck. Moon reversed. Look at that. I don't know why this card is in reverse. It shouldn't be, but it is. Okay. This is exposure. Let Things that have been in the dark will come to light. Okay. You could receive some information that's going to make it real fucking easy to create these endings and move on. I got the three of cups. Yeah. Okay. People you used to celebrate with could be from family with the four of wands. We got a page here. People could have been being immature, but there's the Hierophant right there. The Hierophant is going to get you through your, your three of swords. Following spirit, transmuting your pain, claiming your throne. Okay. The, the Hierophant in this card, this throne looks empty. In this Emperor card, there you are. You have claimed your throne and with this empress right here you're flipping gorgeous while you do it this is beautiful 
you're you're closing you're shutting down the old way of being and stepping through to a whole new world a whole new world yeah it keeps coming through and i've heard other readers channel that shit too this okay we're on the same vibration I've heard Jamie, the divine seer, say it. I've heard the spiritual gangster say it. And I've heard Cindy say it. At a cup of love tarot. Yeah. Tell you what. King of Pentacles again. Okay. We've got the king and the queen out here. Focused on your pentacles. You've got, okay. You cannot manifest love and money at the same time. you got to pick one and focus on it. If you've got love, new love starting in your life, then focus on that. But if not, focus on your pentacles. You're going to, a calling is going to come through that's just for you. And it's meant for you to create the ripple effect. I love you guys. I'm going to leave this one here. Pay attention to your body. Pay attention to the, sim to the sim signs and signals from spirit. Because you're getting ready to go through a hell of an ascension. I love you guys. If you would like to book a personal reading, the information is below. Peace, love, and light.